Everybody, again, the first thing we always want to do when it comes to word problems is read the question. You know, what's the overall goal? What's the conclusion to the story? So with that, we're going to go straight to the question sentence. And it's going to say right here, hey, how long was the pipe before being cut? So everybody, what are we looking for? In your own words, in a couple of words, what is it that we're trying to look for from that red highlight? What's the question saying? How long was the pipe before being cut? So what are you looking for? That's a good way to put it, Landa. The size of the pipe at the beginning, before being cut. Because there's two things that you really want to emphasize here. Number one is, well, hey, it says how long was the pipe, right? How long was the pipe? So, okay, cool. I'm going to just highlight this right here, underline it. So you can say pipe length equals blank. But then here's the other piece of information that you really want to pay attention to. And that's right here. And it says, hey, before being cut. So can we all agree before we continue that if we're talking about how long, how tall, how wide, how whatever, but when they say before something happened, everyone, is it? safe to say that we might have to work backwards here? We're trying to go back to the beginning? Is that fair? Yeah, so you really want to pay attention to that because it's going to make the difference between, you know, adding or subtracting, multiplying or dividing, you know, figuring out which order to go in. It's really going to make a big difference. But the first thing we want to realize here is, hey, we're looking for the length of the pipe. And number two, we're looking for the length of the pipe in the beginning of the problem. In the beginning let's pause really quick because my question is regardless of whether you think this question is easy or hard are you prepared to answer more like this do you understand everything you need to know leading up to this like fractions decimals all of these questions that I'm asking you are legitimate questions that every successful ASVAB test taker needs to ask themselves and so tracking your progress guaranteeing that you know you're ready that's the number one way to prepare and that's why we designed our progress dashboards for the math basics arithmetic reasoning, and math knowledge. No more do you have to guess and hope for the best in terms of, hey, I practiced for two days straight. I hope I'm ready. You know, that happens way too often and then people move on only to find out that they weren't ready and then time was wasted. So don't waste time. When you have a plan and a progress book like this that's lined up for you from beginning to end, you are absolutely 100% guaranteed to grow. So if you're happy about that or excited, go ahead and click the link in the description of this video or text me at 567-698-8867. Text me asking me about how the program works. I'm more than happy to take time out of my day to make sure that you're successful. So don't waste time. Let's make sure you get the score you want and that job you deserve. Hit me up, click the link in the description, and let's get you in there. So let's see what we got here. So pipe blank equals blank, but again, in the beginning. Okay, so let's read the information. Let's just see how we can try to find the beginning length. And again, you wanna keep emphasizing that as you try to solve the problem, keep running that in your head. The beginning length, beginning length, work backwards. What do we see? It says, a pipe was cut into three equal pieces, each measuring one foot and 11 inches in length. So if you kind of imagine that, if you kind of play that forward, Everybody, does it sound like we had a pipe, let's say it was you know, this long, and then we cut it into three equal pieces, one, two, and three. Does that sound like that's what happened right there in that first sentence? We had a pipe and then we cut it into three equal pieces. Okay, so everyone, let's think about, again, because the goal is how can we translate that English into math? Let's kind of think about that. If I'm moving forward in the problem, I'm reading it in order, it says, hey, I had this pipe, I cut it into three equal pieces. What happened in terms of math? What happened to the pipe? What happened to the original length of the pipe? In math talk, what happened? Nicholas says divided. So that pipe got divided into how many pieces again? By three. So, ooh, right there. What happened moving forward, if we're trying to paint a picture with that story, we had a pipe, we cut or divided it into three 
equal pieces. And now we have each pipe being one foot and 11 inches. Everybody, can you get behind that story? Does that kind of make sense there? Given what we just read? Boom, we're in business, as Nicholas says. So that's what happened going forward. We had this pipe divided by three, and the result was one foot and 11 inches for those pipes. If we're working backwards, what do you think we might need to do to turn each of these individual pipes back into that one pipe from the beginning? What do we need to do? If we divided by three to get there, how do we go back? It's not going to be adding, it's going to be multiplying. Here's how we want to think about it, everybody. If going forward, we said, hey, we have this pipe over here, something like this. And we went ahead and said, hey, um, if we divide this by three, we're going to now get three of these that are smaller. Let me actually just make this a lot smaller, if it would let me. Yeah, it doesn't feel like letting me. But let's go ahead and say we have right here. Let me just cut that right there. Makes life so much easier. There we go. And now we have three of them. So everybody, let me just show you what's going on moving forward. In the beginning, they said, hey, originally we had this pipe and then we divided it by three. We cut it into three equal pieces. Each of these are one foot and 11 inches long. So to go backwards, to figure out what this is, to figure out what that is, we gotta work backwards. We gotta now multiply by three. We gotta work back. Because again, each of these is one foot, 11 inches. So to go backwards, we could add all three of them back up. We could say one foot, 11 inches, plus one foot, 11 inches, plus one foot, 11 inches, we could absolutely do that. But that's literally multiplication. Adding the same thing by itself three times is multiplication. So I see why in the chat box, we were going one way than the other. So with that said, my party people, does it make sense? Let's get the final answer. We need to go ahead and take one foot, 11 inches, and multiply it by three. Does that make sense to you? Cool. Right on, right on. So hopefully we painted a good picture for ourselves. Let's go ahead and multiply. Let's see what happens. And what you can do is you can just multiply each of those numbers by three. So 11 times three, help me out my party people. What do we get? 33, right? But what? 33 what? That's right, 33 inches. Then if we do one foot multiplied by three, what is that gonna be? Three, but three what? Three feet, that's right, cool. So we have three feet and 33 inches. Um, is anybody here thinking that the answer is C? Is the answer C? I know it is not actually. And my eyes bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. So there's something that's wrong with this. Not that not, we didn't do any math wrong, but there's something in the way that this is presented. So let's go ahead and take a closer look here and let's see what could be going on. Everybody, uh, how many inches can you go up to until you're at like the max, until you can start calling it something else? 12 inches, because that's a foot, right? Once you hit 12 inches, that's a foot. How many times do you ask somebody, hey, uh, nice to meet you, my name's Coach Anderson. Uh, oh, by the way, how tall are you? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm three feet and 33 inches tall. First of all, I'd be like, where the hell did you learn to talk like that? Like that's, that doesn't make sense at all, right? 
So we need to go ahead and turn this into a more consumable form in a way that people would generally agree on uh, is okay, which is making sure that you convert any excess inches into feet. So the only question is, how do we do that? Well, it goes like this, everybody. You can do it two ways. I'm just gonna show you the more simple barbaric way, but 12 inches, that's one foot. So to get two feet, everybody's it okay if I say that 24 inches is two feet? Is that okay with you? Sounds good. If then if we go up to 36 inches, well, that's gonna be three feet, but we actually don't have 36 inches. We actually don't have 36 inches here, so we wouldn't go this far. We would just stop right here, 24 inches, and then we have an extra nine inches left over. That's what 33 would be. So if you split the 33 up into 24 and nine, because that's what 33 is, 24 plus nine, that 24, that's two feet. Then the remainder, the nine inches, that's what stays. Those are the nine inches that stay. So what this turns into is going to be, yeah, three feet. Let me go ahead and mark this with another color. This is three feet and then this is two feet plus nine inches. So in whole, when we add these back together, that's gonna be five feet, nine inches. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you wanna raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.